guys, it's Karma, and I'm back with another video, and today I'm in a new game that's being developed, or in the works of progress, and uh, it's called Sea of Glory, and I'm here with one of the developers, or you could call it the co-owner, actually, but, uh, yeah. Uh, first off, I think we should say the fact, this isn't, like, Give Thieves, it's a lot, it's not at all like that, mm -hmm. it's more One Piece related. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know. I really never thought about comparing this to Sea of Thieves until like, you just said the title. I was like, well, that's a thing. <laughs> um, this episode, I we're not going to be showing Devil Fruits, yeah. but we do have a couple of simple features to show you guys to check out and just to get an idea of. We'll showcase Devil Fruits um, in an another video or something, but this is just talking about the game and the cool features that the game will have in the future. If you have a lot of weapons in the game, this is one of the simple ones, it's just a dagger. Mm -hmm. You have skills for it, but currently they're not really working well. Currently in game, the other weapon that's actually like usable is a cutlass. Then we have a lot of pole arms and guns as well in the development. Um, right now, this, this island here is going to be uh, the finished island, I guess. It's a dock island, and it's called the Grand Cross. It's gonna just be an exchanging point with vendors and such to talk to, as well as the board over here will become a quest board. I'll be adding more onto this in the future because I'm the builder, so that's kind of my job to do. Mm -hmm. Right now, this guy's a testing thing. A lot of the shops are currently just for testing purposes, and I don't know if you see the uh, NPC way out there walking around in the booth, but uh, that's like a little testing demo for NPCs. And most NPCs will have some form of movement. There's also one down here called Optin who moves down far, which, I mean, that's just a really simple thing, but. Mm -hmm. That that system there will correlate into um, things such as uh, navy patrol ships, which will be introduced in the future for, but basically be pirate hunters but NPCs. So it'll be a little bit dumb. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, what works works. Yeah. Uh, if you want, actually, you might want to go back and talk to Par to show off the shop system. I don't know if that's that's like a, it's it's a cool little feature. Oh, Par uh, opt in, opt in. <laughs> Yeah. Right. The shop's pretty simple, and I mean, right now there's not much to it, especially these shops are very much simple, so I mean, that's easy enough. Uh, mm -hmm. The ship right up here sells two boats, which would be the starting one. Basically, you'll get enough money whenever you start to buy a dinghy, and there's a boat spawner way out here where you'll basically just walk through. You can come over here and see if it works. Sometimes it, it's been glitched out pretty often, so I don't know if it'll work. Uh, it should doesn't. I don't, I don't have a boat, cause uh, I, oh. I accidentally spent like one on that candy, now I have 49. <laughs> Dang, well, <laughs> yeah, so, boats will hopefully be shown in the yeah. future at this point. Uh-huh, alright. Um, so, let's go on a journey to show off another one of the features. Um, yeah. a thing that I think is personally really cool about this game, uh, to, yeah, so the flight currently does drain stamina just to make it so you can't infinitely fly, but right now, it, it, whenever it hits zero, it won't deactivate, which is just temporary. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I don't know which island I'm going to. I have terrible... Uh, we'll just go to... Well, the one in front of us is one in front of us. Alright. Is there? Okay, yeah. so... Right now, there's two island types in the game, which is sand and grass. Uh, the islands are randomly generated, and I think that's one of my favorite features of the game. Mm -hmm. So the main reason why we left them randomly generated is to give, uh, I guess, quote unquote, endless content with a lot of um, with a lot of replayability. Because every time you play a game, you're not going to see the same island. So the island post generation is a little bit glitchy. Apparently, like if you walk around, you can see some of the trees are in the ground and stuff. But uh -huh. I mean, it, for a simple generation system that we are using right now, it Works pretty well. I thought those are bushes. That you can see, nah, these are trees, <laughs> man. They, they're supposed to be. I mean, honestly, they'll pass as bushes. You know, <laughs> we can just say they're bushes. Yeah. The bushes yeah. are like these ones over here. Um, oh, yes. okay. On the trees, he's like, uh, you just flung me somehow. Oh, oh my <laughs> god, where did I just go? Jeez, oh. I went to the nether world somehow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that's not that's never happened to me before, so I'm just come back. Uh, um, <laughs> God, I don't know how you did that. Yo, I don't even know, dude. I I like touched you, and then one frame you were gone, and I thought you just like went on my frame, but no, you went out the world. Yeah, I don't know what just happened, but um, <laughs> that doesn't normally happen. So the randomly generate generated islands have trees and stuff on them, and the, right now, Double Fruit Rarity is extremely boosted for uh, testing purposes for us, so we can actually get Double Fruits to use. Mm -hmm. And there's also the, um, as well, you can click M, N, and K for different menus. K is skills, but they're empty currently, but mm -hmm. that's just, that's, 
because a lot of the stuff is in the works, currently, of course. Yeah. Um, there are skills in the games for Devil Fruits, but like you said, we'll show those off in future videos. Yeah. Are you able to, like, you can punch it, you know, right? Like, punch what? Punching it. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you see, I have a Devil Fruit in my hand right now, so, um... Oh, yeah, <laughs> like a berry, I see. Wait, actually, I should just grab an apple and... Oh, wait, can I? Oh, no. Oh, oh wait, we're good. There's been um a few glitches with certain systems in the game that I mean I don't know it, they 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 always uh appear and disappear whenever we add new features and especially mm -hmm. recently we've been adding a lot of new features yeah. to the game yeah um I'm gonna have to rejoin quickly but I can explain more why I join right. uh so uh, along with the island generation and randomly generated islands uh at like level 25 which that'll come up in the future level 25 yeah. it is you'll unlock a island of your own now the island starts out really simply and it's just like a little square and you can buy houses and stuff to place on it in different parts and if you choose to develop your island in the game the hopes would be to make it a town and have npcs on it to guard it and npcs to sell yeah. stuff yeah um yeah, one of the features in the game is going to be like uh, NPCs uh, on your own island and basically raiding other people's islands, which is very much an in-game thing, an end-game thing. And hopefully, you're not trying to raid islands when you're a low level. But <laughs> yeah, to each their own. No, it won't end well. Uh, right now, on random islands, there's. Two mob t there's two mobs. There's the basic grunts like on that island, and then there's uh that he's currently running away from. Uh -huh. um, and then there's another mob type which is uh bandits, they have swords. That's pretty simple. In the future there's also gonna be bosses and such that can be generated, which bosses are go you're not gonna be able to fight bosses alone, which is of course on purpose. Like a raid. You don't feel like Yeah, like you can think of bosses up. like a raid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's cool. And yeah, we didn't want it to be too easy to fight things because it's meant to be a pirate game where you mm -hmm. have a crew. It's not meant to be play alone and have fun by yourself. <laughs> even if you're even if you're strong, you still have like some stuff that you you're not gonna be able to do quite. Mm -hmm. The glitch I had earlier also was because of Roblox. It was really weird. It locked my mouse in the center of the screen. I didn't have shift lock on. I don't know. Black. But uh, I'm trying not to use my devil for right now because I don't want to show up. But Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the main features in this game is meant to be you can kind of choose your own path of how you want to play it. Such as, I can oh, choose yeah, yeah. to be a fighter and basically just fight throughout the whole game and that's my main goal, the PvP. Uh, I could choose to be an island owner and build up a huge town and sell items on it using my NPCs and such. And there's the other path of being a pirate captain, which is um, pretty simple. That's the one that I... You, you'll need, if you want to make a crew, you'll definitely want to be a pirate captain, which mm -hmm. basically... Alright, so getting into how classes and such work, we'll start moving into the milestones, which is another kind of cool feature in this game. Yeah. There's like seven or so milestones, and you'll unlock each one up until a certain level. At level 10, you'll get the first one, which is the beginner miles. The beginner mile... So every milestone for, uh, will give you three options. The beginner will give you swordsman, sniper, or fight. Swordsman will give you a 30... They'll basically all give you a 33% boost on your mastery level, which masteries will. Uh, can you say yeah, your dad? My what? Your dagger. Oh, you don't own one, do you? No. Nope. How much money do you have? Uh, 64. Oh, you can go back to small and buy one. Okay. We'll do that later. Oh, there. Um, oh. Well, I'll, I'll, re I'll reset now. It's fine. You can do that now. Uh, but oops. masteries for different things, such as for guns and uh. So masteries, the main part of weapon in masteries is going to be for blocking. Masteries also don't have any cap level for that. And if you're here, attack me with your sword. Don't use it. Ah, one minute. Now I have to restart my, restart my devil because I'm I'm a logia, yeah. so you can't hit me with that. Uh, there's going to be boost of hockey as well. So that'll that'll. Yeah. Um, let me that. Now try attacking me. That does zero damage because I have a mastery of only ten or eleven actually. Um, yeah. So that's like the difference in damage. And here, hit me from like this angle. I'm pretty sure no, just like hit me behind, from behind, from behind. It should flip me on, yeah. Oh. So blocking is a pretty simple feature. We still have to add some drainage, uh, stamina draining for blocking, but it's 
Mastery is gonna help you a lot, especially for so swords block um, guns, melee, and swords. Swords have the most versatile blocking uh, range, I guess. That's how you would say it. Uh, guns block absolutely nothing, and melee can. They, it doesn't block melee. Yeah. Yet. That, that's all stupid. If I here punch me with your fist, yeah. If I if you do that, then yeah, that'll happen. Which is it's. I don't know. It's just meant to have. I mean, we might keep it this way, where it's like swords just block guns and um, swords and then fists block fists. So, like, you, if you want to like have to block mid fight, you have to switch out and like, cheat your sword. Or whatever. It, mm -hmm. We still have to think about uh, balancing all the stuff and everything yeah. in the game, which is gonna come out and be fixed during testing. So a lot of the stuff you currently see is not gonna be as it currently is. Now, that I finished the. the minutes it took me for the beginning one. The second milestone's at level 25, which will unlock your island, which I already mentioned earlier, but that's... It's a pretty big milestone, because it does give you a lot in the game. Uh, your island will also act as your spawn point, so even if you uh... don't build it up, you can, you'll get a little dock you can put on it, and you can spawn your boat off of that and everything. It's just a it's a basic place for you to work off of. That's also one of the reasons why this is so small. Mm -hmm. you will, I will expand this island still, though. Um, now, the f on release, the max level is going to be 50, and the milestone at 50 is going to be the job milestone. Mm -hmm. That's going to be like the first kind of like, uh, quote unquote, real selection of what you want to be in the game, which yeah. is the three ones are doctor, chef, and musician. Doctor will make it so you have a 50% boost using healing items, and that's going to be like bandages and stuff where you can heal, uh, heal other people. And that'll also work towards yourself, like if you eat an apple, counts as a healing item technically, so you'll be boosted in health, which I mean, could be considered a little bit broken, but it works. Yeah. Uh, it's whatever. Now, Chef is uh, the second one, which will allow you to give well, cook using apples and other uh, food items that you'll be able to get from things in the game, and also buy from just vendors, which is gonna give buffs such as like maybe a strength buff temporarily and stuff like that. It's simple stuff, but it is pretty big and ne and all of the roles are pretty necessary in a group. Yeah. The last one's Musician, uh -huh. which is like. It's like a mid-game fighting uh, job, I guess, because you'll play songs and you'll have do different effects and such, which is like give a sh uh, temporary debuff to opponents and buff to uh, allies and stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. Now, there are more milestones, but those are the only ones that are going to be in the game to start with. Uh -huh. The next one, go in Legend, and those are the really overpowered ones, such as Voyage will give you Shipwright, Wayfarer, and Navigator, which will just be a lot of traveling such, such as Shipwright repairs ship faster, Wayfarer is a speed boost, and Navigator will give you a, a map and a, cus and a compass. Adventurer will give you the three options of Lucky, Leader, and Merchant. Lucky will make it some belly drops. Leader will make it so uh, your crew, er, your party, which is going to be an endgame system eventually, will basically have friendly fire disabled, which is pretty vital towards a party, and that's, in, that's one of the first... Uh, milestones that if you want to be a pirate captain in this game you need to choose and the other one's merchant which is more for people who want to make their town and like they'll get items for cheaper prices not by much but it'll be a fraction that'll make it like a pretty big advantage yeah and i mean if you, I, I think it's pretty obvious you can tell the uh, milestones get a lot better as they go up in ranking but you can use your milestone points to buy things from past milestone options like let's say for the voyage milestone, you don't want in, any of those. You don't want to be a ship right away for a navigator. So you go back and decide to get another job, like you become a chef and a doctor, or become a swordsman and a sniper. You know, like yeah. you can do stuff like that. But you'll lose out on stuff to gain other stuff. It's really just your, what you want to become in the game. Yeah. You kind of have to think about that. Um, the second to last milestone is the hero one, which has fleet master, weapon prodigy, and landlord. Fleet Master will make it so you can spawn in multiple ships, which is actually really helpful, honestly, because that's like, you'll basically be able to have a fleet of your own, especially if you want to buy your own, like, in the future there'll be cool stuff, I'll explain that in, in, a, in a bit. Yeah. Uh, Weapon Prodigy will make it so you can dual wield guns and triple wield uh, swords and other weapons of the sword, which, I mean, that can be pretty cool, that's my opinion on it. It'll be nice to have, especially if you want to go into weapons, but that's really, it's honestly, out of the three, it's probably my least favorite. Oh. That's my opinion. <laughs> Every, everyone, everyone has their own path that they want to pick yeah. in this game, and that's not mine. The last one's Landlord. Landlord will make it so you can make your island a public spawn area, mm -hmm. and it's going to be treated like an NPC island, and that's 
it'll also make it so you can uh, increase the map size of it, basically. It'll make it so you can have your island larger. Uh, another thing that I actually skipped over whenever I talked about the island, the island generation tiers, there's tiers mm -hmm. 1 through 5, and the farther out you go, the bigger the islands are. I didn't talk about that, did I? No. Okay, I, I almost forgot about that actually, but yeah, that's a pretty important thing, I think. And why are they so spaced out? Uh, that's just to make it so, um, so lower level people are going to be closer towards the middle, and the higher, higher level people are really far out, mm -hmm. so levels and ruin their grinding yeah. and everything, which... I think in a lot of One Piece games, it ruins the fun of it whenever you just get killed by someone who one-shots you. You have no chance to even train. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it, I thought that was a really, it's a really necessary thing that originally we weren't even thinking about, but then we realized like, it might be new. The last milestone for the Legend one. The Emperor's Aura, which is how hockey different name for it then there's going to be awakening which will give you your fourth move on your devil fruit so i'm going to switch to no i don't, I don't want to show a devil fruit now but uh yes awakening is going to give a fourth move to a devil fruit so let's oh, say yeah. gum gum will have like gear second for like venom uh you'll get the huge venom monster form it's it's forms yeah. and stuff in, in other games that aren't necessarily considered overpowered but it's it's gonna give you a boost because most uh, devil fruits only have about three moves right now, or two. It depends on what you have. Like some of the Zoans in the game currently only have two moves, such as uh, such as Bug that only has two moves, and Turtle only has one actually. Um, but there's a lot of uh, devil fruits that can definitely uh, have some form of an advantage to uh, have an awakening. Yeah. So that's the milestones. I think I went over that pretty nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, you uh, did. We have a lot of the, uh, games future planned out, such as uh, sorry, I'm thinking way to wear this. Major updates. Uh, like we plan on doing one where we go underwater, and it's gonna have fishmen islands and submarines, and then we have one where we plan on going above, like above the sky, which would be like sky islands and airships. That's. I mean, that's, you can't say those are 100% going to be in the game, but high chances those are going to be uh, in the game, which I think will be pretty cool features. Updating-wise, we plan on releasing uh, a Devil Fruit or two every other week. Not So every two weeks, actually. Uh, we'll plan on releasing either Devil Fruits or new weapons, and also mobs and such. And, uh, with mobs, will come new, more quests, and with quests, easier to level up. Slowly, we'll update and introduce more milestones and increase the max level. But leveling up is not that easy in this game, so... No, sir. I don't know. Um, yeah, it, it took me like 30, 40 minutes, basically. You know, probably actually close to like an hour to hit level 7 with no quest, oh honestly. Gosh. Oh, it, that's also because I have no quests. Yeah. I mean, There's gonna be that quests. has a lot of issues. Yeah, quests will be in the game, and actually, it's being worked on right now. You might actually have quests out tomorrow. Oh, nice. I don't know yet. It, it'll be pretty soon. The quest board will basically like you'll be able to have like randomly generated quests that, depending on the mobs in the world, yeah. that's basically that. Yeah, there'll be um, there will be ship customization to some degree. I don't know how to fully explain it yet, especially with um, so the we're hoping at least. Because our 3D modeler, he makes, he's, he's made really great weapons for the game. The dagger is a really bad example of the, how weapons look, but mm -hmm. it, it's still a decently nice looking weapon. Yeah. Um, but ships, uh, the starting, the two starter ships are going to just be cheap, cheapies, really basic ships, which are the dinghy, and then there's the sailboat thing. But then, uh, so the this third boat that we'll have introduced, I don't know if it'll be out by release, it should be. By, by free release, but it's gonna, the game will be released paid access in I don't know how long. I can't give you guys an exact uh, release date yet. I don't want to hype you guys up and then be like, yeah, it, it won't be released for two weeks, two months, and, and pull like right. what almost every other devs do. Right. So I, I can't promise a release date for you guys yet. But it's going to be the caravel, such as the Going Merry that the oh, yeah. Straw Hats had at the start of the game. Well, I, well, it'll have some customization from that basic thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it'll be nice and simple, but it'll it'll definitely be nice. Like that's the hope of it, because like like this game is all about choosing your own path. I, I've covered that a couple of times, but it really is just meant to be kind of open world, and you do what you want to do. Like once you're at level twenty five, you can for the most part like stop grinding, and especially like if you don't want to work up and get landlord, you. Can literally just build your island and 
Uh, I, that's up to you, really. Yeah. So, I mean, your island can also get raided, so chances are you might want to level up a little bit, but you really don't have to. It's, it's just really what you want to do with the game, and that's... That's what I think makes it special compared to other One Piece games, and also they didn't call it a One Piece game, because it's not really just a One Piece game, it's inspired by One Piece. But we have a lot of things that are not canon, and things that we can do whatever we want with this game, because yeah. we didn't call it a One Piece game. Yeah. So I mean, that's, I don't know, I think that makes it a little bit special. Uh, I think that's all I, I can pretty much cover in this video. Yeah, this is the this is the owner. It's awesome. Yeah, this is the boat. <laughs> There's no seats on it, it's just stand on it. Yeah. yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe because our new and turn notifications. I'll see you guys in another video. Also, yeah. if you comment down below any ideas for the game, we'll, we'll see if you like them and we might somewhat introduce them. So, I mean, if you guys are interested in that, like, definitely, we'll be looking in the comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in another video. Peace. <laughs>